Well, WPRI 12 and Fox Providence are giving back to the community as part of the Next Star Founders Day of Caring. For several days, we have the honor of volunteering for local charities and projects, thanks to a program by our parent company, Next Star Media Group. Our employees were at several locations across Rhode Island, including Crossroads, the Carl Laurel School in Providence, and the Veterans Cemetery in Exeter. And that's where we find Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin with more on today's events. Caroline. Well, Shannon, you usually find us behind the camera or in front of the camera, but today we were out in the community participating in several projects throughout Rhode Island, all for Next Star's Founders Day of Caring. On your mark, get set. This is the first failed day that we've done in three years, and we're very excited. More than 900 kids attend Carl Laurel Elementary School in Providence. On Friday, we joined them as they got some fresh air and had a whole lot of fun. We're so thrilled, and everybody pitched in to make this day a success for the students. We also have education and employment programs to help people secure income so that they can maintain their housing independent of us. Crossroads is the largest homeless services organization in the state. Some WPRI staff members were on hand to organize products that were donated to the nonprofit. This day of giving back is really special for Crossroads because it allows us to engage our volunteers, our corporate partners in our work. About 25 miles south in Exeter, volunteers dug deep as they worked in the memorial garden at the Veterans Memorial Cemetery. It was a time to rebuild and remember as they worked with Gold Star families who were there to honor their fallen soldiers. And coming up live at 530, I'll have an interview with the director of veteran affairs here in Rhode Island. What he says this service means to the communities and Gold Star families. Reporting live in Exeter with the Mobile News, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Jared. Now at 530 Eyewitness News giving back to our community today. WPRI TV employees, myself included, took part in a day of community service, part of the Next Star Founders Day of Caring. That includes a planting at a memorial garden for Rhode Island's Gold Star families. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is live at the State Veterans Memorial Cemetery in Exeter. Caroline. Well, Steve, as you said, we're joining you live once again from the Veterans Memorial Cemetery here in Exeter. I'm joined right now by the Rhode Island Veteran Affairs Director, Kasim Yarn. We were talking about it before, Director. What exactly does this day mean to the Gold Star families and to the community? Uh, it's truly a somber moment knowing that we, as Rhode Islanders, that we have a place, a final resting place for our loved ones. Uh, my brothers and sisters, as a veteran, uh, it's so important that we send a clear signal that we continue to care for our veterans, uh, our Rhode Island National Guards, and most importantly, their families. Now, we were talking about it before. Memorial Day was just a few weeks ago, and on Memorial Day, you want people to honor the fallen soldiers by remembering them, honoring, and teaching. Kind of explain what exactly that means. From the standpoint of remembering, always keeping in your heart of the sacrifices that our men and women have done and endured uh, over the course of history. I always say when you study American history, look no further than Rhode Island's history and the role that our men and women have paved the way and their family members, the sacrifice associated with that, honoring them. Uh, because the our memorial cemetery is hallowed ground, uh, my staff are committed to ensuring that their wishes along with their family members and caregiver wishes are maintained. And of course, teach. Let us not forget, let us let our children forget that the sacrifices that the men and women and our Gold Star family members uh, continue to endure. And it's up to us as a state to send that signal that we care for our veterans, care for our National Guard, care for our family members. Of course, thank you so much, Director. We were talking before a beautiful day for volunteering earlier in the day here at the Veterans Memorial Cemetery for the Next Star's Founders Day of Caring. But tonight, raining here, obviously, with Steve, the director was saying before, it's somber, it kind of sets the mood to have the rainfall at this time of night. We'll be back live at 6 with a complete wrap of the Next Star Founders Day of Caring. Reporting live in Exeter with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News. Caroline, thank you for that report. Right now online at WPRI.com, we've posted images from our community service events across the state, along with more information about our Founders Day of Caring.